Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm about to do a review for you for my favorite Craigslist application. It's called Craigly. I want y'all to go ahead and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up Craigly. And unlock the iPhone. And it is right here. As you can see, I'll just go ahead and open up Craigly and you can see it loads pretty quickly on the iPhone 3GS and automatically it'll bring me to the search page and you can see it's a pretty user-friendly uh, interface and all of your controls are down here at the bottom you've got search save search you've got a wish list post and more options and under here under these more options you've got the music player change my lo change my location check for update clear cache about us and contact us button in case you want to contact the developer with any questions or concerns about any bugs and as you can see it's a pretty very smooth interface there it's really easy to use I love it it's uh, great for searching so it is compatible with all iPhones and iPod touch second generation okay so let's show you some of the features here for the search and why it is that I like it so much well number one is that it allows you to search for multiple locations okay so I'm going to tap here on locations and you can see here that I am in Columbia South Carolina and here I have the option of adding locations by cities by name by states US neighborhoods Canada Latin America national cities and etc but the coolest feature about it is that you can add nearby location and because it is GPS enabled as you can see this little bar up here on the screen nearby distance filter okay and it's set by miles right now it's set to 20 miles I don't know if you can see that there right up there and it's got 20 miles well we can adjust that setting to as far as close as we want the phone to search for so I'm going to set it for how far are you willing to travel pretty much and I'm willing to travel depending for what it is about a good 60 miles okay so and in the bottom here will will reflect the surrounding cities according to the distance that you set okay let's set it a little further since nothing popped up okay just to show you if we go out 87 miles from my location we have these various locations here that I can also simultaneously search for so it would allow me to simultaneously search through Columbia Augusta Charlotte and Florence should I choose to do so let me just click on one of them or let's do two to keep it a little more interesting and then we're gonna go back okay good to go let me close this up now that we've got our location we gotta choose our category I'm gonna leave it in all for sale the price range I will leave blank normally I like when I go on Craigslist to avoid the clutter depending on what I'm searching for I'll click has image only that way only the things with image pop up and I don't waste time going through the plethora of results for what I've here for the iPhone okay so let's leave this the way it is and click on search and you can see how fast this actually comes up and pops everything up for you now you will have three views to choose from for your results it's currently in list my favorite is here thumb and that is why it automatically gives you a preview of the picture if it has one on the left and a quick description of it on the right this is the best way I've found to browse and search Craigslist. Easiest, less time consuming, 
the best possible way, in my opinion. And the pictures load pretty quickly on there. Depending what you want, it allows you to see if something's generic, I usually skip it. When I see that it's a real iPhone in the picture, I'm more enticed to look into it. So let's see here. iPhone 3G, 16 gigabyte white. Let's click on it and see what comes up. And it looks like tr the traditional Craigslist web page. Also want to mention that it is fully supported for both landscape mode and portrait mode. And from here, you can pinch and zoom, just like you would on the actual web page. Gives you the additional pictures. And let me flip it back this way. Gives you the contact number, pretty cool from here. If I would click that number, of course, the iPhone would dial it. Same thing with the email, if I wanna go ahead and reply to that person's and if I were to click on the link, it actually has an internal email. And from there, I would just send and it, with the internal email. So it does not actually pull up your email application, the native one. It has one built into the app. So that is pretty cool. I am not going to click on it because it will pull up my information on there. So I will probably find a different way to show you guys that later. Okay, so let's go back now. The cool part about this is also, let's say you find a few interesting ones here. Well, you could just click on that little star there and it will go to your wish list. Now to me, um, and I compare this to eBay feature, when you're looking for something on eBay, you have the option to watch an item, right? Well, this kind of works in the same way to if you spend uh, a good 20 minutes looking for something and you favorite a few of them. And when you go to the wish list, you can track them all there. And so that's pretty cool. So while I'm looking for an iPhone, I've contacted these four different folks, waiting on replies from all of them. I can see if they've been sold or not. So it's, it's a cool way of tracking and I think it's really helpful and useful. Um, you can also save searches to go back and review later, and even look at it offline uh, when you're not connected or in an airplane, uh, whatever you choose to be. You also have the option to view these in slideshow view. And you hit on play and it will just do an actual slideshow for you. So if you're feeling lazy and you put it on here and you click slideshow, it will browse through all the pictures and everything for you. When something catches your eye, you just go ahead and tap on it and it brings it up. Not my favorite, but it's there. Okay, and the other Go back to search. You can also change your categories, of course, for sale. And it's and it works very fluid. It's very easy. And of course, there it goes, posting my information. Okay, but it's um, you do you can set it up with your account if you choose to. Okay, and in category, you can change it here. Let's go to for sale antiques, and I'm not gonna go through with it. You can also set up pictures. You can tap the camera to add images, okay, down here. And right now I can take a photo or choose an existing. Let me go ahead and choose existing. I'm gonna go into my camera roll and I'm gonna pick a picture. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on choose, create posting. And this does take a little while just to load the picture on there. And as you'll see, it'll come up here to a very native Craigslist page, the same you would see online. And from here, if you're familiar with Craigslist, you would just go on to uploading it as usual. But it brought the browser up internally to make it easier for you. So it is very, very, very neat app. I think it's one of the best out there, underrated, but overall the most efficient Craigslist searching application. I'm Bruno, and this has been my review of the Craigly app. Thanks for watching. This girl said she got a dome. She about to make a hip swing all night long. Oh, na, na. Oh, na, na. Oh, na, na. Oh, shit, shake that ass. My movie like you did.